Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I made some new tutorials about um, i3 and this time on Arch Merged with a D. So we start off with the ISO from uh, Arch Merged, which you can of course download here in archmerged.com, uh, sorry, in archmerged.info and then download and you follow the links to download it. Yeah. Then, um, what's this topic? What are we going to do? You see already that this look is a bit different. It's uh, a yellow look. So we made tutorials about um, i3 and it's all in archmerch.com. Then it's with a D, so it's all starting with ISO, archmerched. And then we go into the i3 articles. Somewhere down the line, on the 13 articles we have, 13 videos, we have changed a lot of things. We've changed colors like this one and the fading is gone and shadow is gone. A lot of things have been changed in the meantime. No uh, inactive opacity and all that. It's a lot of things that we changed in one of our tutorials. But this time I thought I have a blue one, an orange one, a light orange one, why not make together with you guys a red version? Well, we do have a wallpaper that's more or less red, but uh, it's, we can change easily with, uh, for instance, like this one. So it doesn't really matter, but let's say we have something that's red as a background. So, okay, let's create something new. Um, how do we proceed? We have in AMD i3. So, first off, this is the folder we got from the internet. What happens if you run the scripts? It's going to copy paste this content into your .config i3 folder. And this is the same content as we have online. So this is where we do our job. We should first off start by copying things. Um, this is my actual config. I already have a copy. So I'm going to copy it again. Control C, Control V. Let's kill this one. So we're going to change this config file and we do it with Atom, which is the best way to do it. Why? Not because I like Atom, because it's useful to have a package, a package, a package, a package. Here it is. A package that's called minimap pigments and that's called pigments. These two packages have been installed as extra. What happens if you have those? We don't need this one. And let's get rid of that file blah, blah, blah. reopen last project this one is good killing oh yeah, my screen key again let's quickly start my screen key so you see what things I press so no not um, the config this one that's the one I want so these colors that you're looking at, separator, that's this little line here. So now we have to decide what kind of red will we use. And why not indeed use the red that was in one of the previous, or did I see it, the wallpaper? There was some red spider or something earlier on. That's also a good one since we have, um, we have names like Star Trek. So let's keep this one and that's a little bit red I must say but um, it's anyway in theme but let's see if we can find something uh, more appropriate maybe how can we do it we search for a wallpaper and then you get an idea what oh, sorry what um, well let's delete this again we want to see what wallpapers do we have already? That's a nice one, but it's not red, so I'm not going to use it. Well, it's a little different, as you can see, the way this works on the system of i3. That's also red. It might be a good idea to work on that. That's red as well. But we need something to work off. You know, you need to have a whole so nice but it's more pinkish than red that's okay why not it's gonna be also look a nice look everything in pink 
And since my public is 90% male, I think we better choose uh, something else as color. What else? I could use this kind of picture with this kind of red. I like this red better than the other from uh, Star Trek. So, okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get this kind of red. The thing is, I do not think we can do this. So let's try it and see if my beloved GPIC does that. I don't think that's possible in i3 um, because when normally we... Oh, yeah, we, okay, fine. Shut up, Eric. It's just okay. It just works. There you go. It's called fire brick. So right mouse click, go to the clipboard. That's my red. That's the fire brick. Let's keep him there. We don't mind. We need to tell the system that the separator is rather not orange, but rather than that, we can say go red. Now I'm already thinking practical. Can you do control H here? No, you can't. Control find that is working here. Find in the current buffer. Control V. That's my red. And this one is my orange. Can we say replace everything? What happens? Okay, replace all. Thank you. Voila. So everything that used to be darker orange is now red. We could try and see what happens if we control save it first and then reload it. This thing is already red. So that's what we've changed. And here as well is okay. And here the line is red as well. Okay. If we do an enter, we get this yellow orange on the other side, which is not actually that bad. So red means that's focused and orange means it's unfocused. Wow, not bad at all. But we could maybe explain you something else. You can ask variations on the color. And we can make lightness a little bit better. Let's see if we can do works like this. No, that's not good. Variations, let's change some numbers. Uh, that seems to be lighter than that one, but in my eyes, not light enough. So, variations. Let's see if we can make uh, some more steps. Well, that's gonna be a lot. Uh huh. That's um, we started from there, we are now there. So, it's gonna be darker. The question is, uh, will I make the one I have now darker and let that become the lighter one also a possibility so anyway what we're doing now is looking for colors and you say okay what color is there there is this color there and this color can be influenced with lightness and a lot darker or lighter the question is what will I do will I make it darker for the one that's not active or make it lighter for the one that's not active or maybe almost pinkish it's an idea add to palette now i have this light thing here copy to clipboard and then it's experimenting really see what you like best um, so this one is control v and if we would then change the orange Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then replace all. Save, Super Shift C or R, reload. And then you get this thing here. You actually see that the thing that's, that's not active is darker than the one that's inactive. Am I saying it correctly? The one that's darker is active and the one that's lighter is not active. Maybe you just want the way you want it the other way around. Um, that's up to you. Now, you could go even further. Can you make these things also red? Then we'll have to go into the code again and see what makes these things uh, that color. So this is all 
red oh white 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 probably the placeholder the background the focus the unfocused and the inactive all these things need to be changed to red question now again is what red and i think we better take the separator red and then it's let's do it one by one control v and then s save and reload and see what happens something has changed question is always where is it so it's the placeholder not sure what it is and then the background control v oops control v is empty my friends so let's get it back control c control v okay save what happens now if we reload 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 you check it out maybe you see it i don't not yet but it all depends of uh, whether or it's focused unfocused and so on so it changes the status line let's do this to see some effect here uh, background is uh, dark let's keep that status line why is he always forgetting my code Control c Control v save reload that's obvious that's a result so everything is now in red here okay you like it you hate it you can do Control z if you hate it but um inactive workspace is now background gray which is okay for me could make it a lighter background so if you want to have a lighter um, gray the only thing you have to remember is that gray is always uh, two things the same so well three things the same meaning if you take um, a lighter background like dd 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 so that's gray and it's going to be lighter that's as simple as that and then reload but then your text is not good as you can see the text is almost unreadable so we have to make our text black again so the text is now white focused workspace active workspace so um, what am I saying the text is here all out meaning black on the focused workspace which is so correct it's focused and active workspace and inactive that's where the trouble starts so we will make it um, also black yeah let's make it also black and then save reload that looks like this two three eight so we're starting to get our system going it's gonna be all red and do like do not like all this line being all that red so what if we made our separator white again and make it ff 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 to have some kind of wah no not really it's too white but that's how you proceed now and and change and we had this what did we use dds a little bit softer already but must say that this red is hardly readable not so readable at all but okay it's uh, what you want it's just an hexadecimal code one of the 60 million codes it's also about how to do it technically this tutorial so we've done these kind of things this is um, oh yeah if you really struck uh, if you really um, stuck in the tutorial what you do you change something to you something you know and what do you know this is rgb red green blue so if you say zero zero ff zero zero red green blue voila it's gonna be green and then you change it and then immediately immediately you see okay that's the background of the bar so all right not good Control z get back and uh, save it again and reload so that's also a neat way to figure out what anything does and uh, we were thinking earlier on what does this do and does that do well change it to a color that's obvious that's going to to pop up 
and then um, you have to stay working it until one of these elements kicks in like when it's urgent it's gonna be a, a, a red background now but uh, everything is now red so we may be forced to change it to green uh, in this case or something else I mean something that's obvious that's that it's not uh, red anymore so there you go um, I think I'm gonna stop here uh, we've went into these things and those things can change the text colors here um, pop, pop, pop. Um, okay fine um, now it's just a matter of using the system and and seeing if everything is readable if it's, it's it suits your needs and then again edit it and change the colors around all right so we have a new um, theme and I will put it on the github from uh, github.com arch merge linux where you can find it on the on the github to download and then you'll have an extra color this red theme enjoy arch merged